We're going to get the latest now on the manhunt in Texas for the killers of a district attorney and his wife gunned down in their home this weekend. The killings came just two months after another prosecutor in the same county was murdered. And ABC's Pierre Thomas is in Kaufman, Texas, where officials are trying to work to piece those crimes together. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, George. It's unheard of for top law enforcement officials to be executed in a small town like this. So today, the FBI, U.S. Marshals, and ATF are here to help local police solve these shocking murders. This morning, an army of police are trying to find out who broke into the home of Mike McClellan, the county's top prosecutor, and murdered him and his wife in cold blood Saturday night. They both had been shot. It's unnerving to uh, the law enforcement community. It's unnerving to the community at large. It was only weeks ago that McClellan had vowed to find the killer of one of his top deputies, Assistant District Attorney Mark Haas. In late January, Haas was executed in broad daylight by two suspects dressed in black SWAT gear. I hope that the people that did this are watching because we're very confident that we're going to find you. We're going to pull you out of whatever hole you're in. Sources tell ABC News an assault-style rifle was used to fire multiple shots at McClellan and his wife. Investigators have begun to review all the cases recently brought by the two murdered prosecutors, looking for a motive and any similarities, including any possible link to the killing of the Colorado Chief of Corrections, gunned down at his front door just two weeks ago. The suspect in that case, who police believe is a member of a Colorado white supremacist prison gang, was fatally wounded in a high-speed chase only 100 miles from Kaufman. The Kaufman prosecutor's office had targeted another white supremacist group, the Aryan Brotherhood of Texas, and McClellan noted in a recent interview his office had put some real dents in that group. But while white supremacists are possible suspects, the list of enemies for prosecutors range from drug dealers to all kinds of violent offenders. There's a long list of people who might have a vendetta against these men and possibly others in law enforcement here. Amy? Pierre Thomas, thanks so much.